under skies that present a constant threat and into a car park where they've been expected for days. Three buses from Mariupol. Through the last checkpoint and to a safety of sorts. 79 of the most vulnerable. They've been inside the besieged city for eight weeks. Among them, Mikhailo and his wife Maria. In no state to talk. Witnesses to an awfulness that brings an old man to this. Nearby, father and son, Vladimir and Andrei Stevanov. The situation is um, very bad. The, the story is uh, uh, everywhere. And as President Putin was declaring that the city was now in Russian control, a hint of what that looks like. Satellite imagery from just outside Mariupol. The 19th of March, the 26th of March and the 3rd of April. 200 graves at a site which continues to expand. Inside the tent here in Zaporizhia, they are fed. These are people who have lived in bunkers for weeks. They have with them all that's left. How many people do you think are still, uh, civilians are still in Mariupol? 50,000 people, uh, ah. mostly civilians. 50,000? Yes, 50,000. It's a mission. We opened the corridor for thousands of people and expected that there will be at least 5,000 people. Now we have 79 people. That's what does Russia do. Back outside and fed, Mikhailo thought he was ready to talk. Just tell me how the situation is in Mariupol at the moment. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. It's horrible. It's horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And the sirens are still going off. Самолеты, самолеты летают на сирен нема, одни самолеты, бомбят, 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 и артиллерия. Працює ужас. Туда тільки заїхати, подивитися, більше нічого не треба. What now for Mikhailo? What now for everyone here? And everyone still there? Mark Stone, Sky News in Zaporizhia.